nap time. Okay. <laughs> hey, I like your headphones. Those look fancy. Hashtag, that's some of my best work is when I really don't even know. That's the longest hashtag of all time. <laughs> Welcome back, I'm Cassidy, and it is Halloween time at Handmade. So I don't know if you know this or not, but I really love the dollar store. So me and my friend just walked around the dollar store to see if we could find something that would jump out at us. And we found some items that we can turn into some spectacular crafts. Let's get started. The first thing that we found, washi mitts. So what do these look like? A monster. So we're gonna make a monster wreath. For this project, you will need paint marker, ping pong balls, dollar store car wash mitts, tea pens, foam wreath, and cardstock. We're gonna start with a dollar store wreath form. I'm using tea pens to attach the scrubby mitts to the wreath form. You'll use a black paint marker to make the eyes with your ping pong balls. Attach with hot glue. Cut some teeth using cardstock. Attach with hot glue. He's so cute! For this project you will need dollar store picture frames, dollar store plastic bugs, metallic gold, and matte black spray paint. Spray paint the entire frame and glass. Spray the bugs with gold. Use your hot glue gun on a low temp setting to attach the bugs to the glass. We are gonna make a witch's broom. You will need jute twine, floral wire, dollar store floral filler. Stick from the yard. Take your floral filler and attach it to your stick with hot glue. Add additional pieces with floral wire to make it more full. Wrap the twine around the stick to hide the stems. And this project will be a tombstone. You will need wood plaque, aluminum baking pan, spray paint, aluminum shears, and protective gloves. First, spray paint your plaque black. We need to make our aluminum pan more of a square. First, cut each corner. Be very careful when cutting and make sure you wear protective gloves. Fold it in with your needle nose pliers so there's no sharp edges. Secure corners with a line of hot glue. Pick your spooky design and add with hot glue. Once your glue is dry, add a coat of spray paint. Once the paint is dry, attach to the plaque with your stapler. For this project you will need Floral wire, wood bead, fake rat, faux moss, floral foam, spray paint, nail polish, and two wire baskets. Remove your handles and set aside to be used shortly. Use wire cutters to remove the hoops on your basket. Now set your baskets aside and we're going to use the handle from the baskets to make a handle for our cage. Spray paint your wooden bead gold Thread the bead onto the handle and form a circle. Secure the ends with hot glue. 
and hide with your bead. Take your floral foam and paint black. Use red fingernail polish to paint the eyes on your rat. Use hot glue to attach the rat to the floral foam. And then place it in your basket. Surround your rat with multiple types of fake moss. Use floral wire to attach your baskets together. Finally, attach your handle to the top of your basket by taking the floral wire and looping it through the top of the basket and the wooden bead. So today, my two favorite things came together, Halloween and the dollar store. And I think these projects turned out fantastic. I mean, we have taxidermy, we have a rat in a cage, and I mean, look at that tombstone made out of a baking dish. Tell us which is your favorite in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.